Hey guys, welcome. Hope you guys are doing good tonight. Happy Friday. Uh, got the feather blade again. Got 11 on that side. One on that side. That's 12. Uh, I think you guys saw 10 last week. Did two more during the week. Um, let's see if we can get 13 out of this. Uh, shave 11 was so-so. Eh, so I spent a little extra time on the edge, on the cork, and got that edge shined up really good. So I'm going to see if I can pound number 13 out of this. So let's uh, drop it in the sink, and then we'll load it in our Gillette Black Tip. Used this before, 1951 manufacture date on this little guy. So let's open the doors, drop that in there, see if we can get 13 shaves. It's already set a record for me. I think uh, before it was 11, so I've done broke my old record, so 13. We'll see what happens. If it goes south, like I say, I got the, in the bullpen, I got a fresh feather weight, and we'll throw that in there. Uh, for soap, we're going to go with um, the Blades Grim, and I'm not sure what scent this is, because this was a gift. We think it's the Smolder scent, but it doesn't say on the can. So if you guys recognize that, tell me. Because I'm not sure, but whatever the scent is, it is great. It's got this real uh, kind of a, it's got kind of a vanilla thing going on, and man, it is awesome. I've uh, been really impressed with this. Uh, Robin's bought me several soaps, and uh, she hasn't steered me wrong yet. So, uh, Alan, we've got it whipped up in the granite shade bowl right here, and we're using our Googer Art brush. Uh, this is from Sweden. A guy in Sweden makes these. Um, got a 24 inch, 24 inch, 24 millimeter synthetic knot. Got a little coconut oil on my face, so uh, let's get rolling. Got this stuff all whipped up nice. Looks pretty good. So, let's get cracking and see if we can get 13 out of this. I have a sneaking feeling. We're getting right at the end of this thing. But number 12 went really well. So I was like, okay, I'll try one more time. We'll see what happens. And I know, I know you're going, why in the world would he be doing that? It's because, you know, I don't have anything better to do. Right time. So, see how many times I can drag a cheap piece of steel across my face. Man, I wish you could smell this. This stuff is... Really nice smelling. Alright. Put a little heat into that bad boy right there. This is a light little razor. It's, uh, Weight-wise, it's probably the lightest razor I have. So, all right, let's give this a crack and see what happens here. This isn't where it's that against the grain pass that you really feel if you're having an issue. Yeah, that's pretty. It's marginal right there. Yeah. I'm making a call to the bullpen, you guys. I'm bringing the lefty. Couldn't do it. 12's it, man. That's it. 13. So, let's load the feather up there. Yeah, that was pretty uncomfortable. And uh, the last two shades, the first pass was good. It was the against the grain pass that I could really, I could kind of tell. But now, that was uncomfortable. So, I'm going to put my cheaters on here, guys, because I'll end up hacking the end of my fingers off trying to unpackage this feather blade. 
I need a wine cork so I could try corking out in, uh, on a wine bottle cork. But we're not big wine drinkers once in a while, but I don't think we've got any around, any old bottles around. All right, so let's drop the new feather in there. Close the door. So that was a short-lived test, but hey, I think 12 is pretty, uh, pretty good. I read somewhere some guy gets like, ah, I'm getting 15. I guess in the back of my mind, I was going to try and see if I could... Oh, yeah. Wow. You have to be careful with this little razor because it doesn't have much weight to it. And uh, you tend to push down with it a lot. I read somewhere, I read the blade gap and the, and the exposure on this. And it's not as mild as a blue tip, but it's milder than like the red tip. I forget what it is. It's kind of in that average with like I think the flare tip. I could be wrong if I'm, uh, if I'm mistaken. I'm sure one of you guys will correct me, but it's kind of in the middle of this Super speed aggression scale. Yeah, that blade would kill my chin because that's where I would have built it. Well, it was a good run. Good run while it lasted. So, man, I haven't, known, I haven't known what to do with myself today. Robin had to work today. She rarely works Fridays. And I haven't been lately because I've had so much overtime that I'm not working on Fridays. But, uh... It kind of blows not having her here. <clears throat> We're having some issues with the, with our dog too. He's I think I've told you about him. He's 14, diabetic, and uh, his insulin is excuse me, his blood sugar has been all over the place here lately, up, down, high, low, and you know that's just not a good sign. Not a good sign for an older dog to doing that. You know, I'm worried about him, so, uh, you know, keep, uh, if you like little dogs, keep this one in your thoughts, because he's a pretty nice little dog. All right, let me uh, get a little water on my face here, and I'm going to re relather this up. Go for pass two. Go for pass two, and... Uh, Get out of here, I think. Stuff makes dice louder. I love this little granite bowl, man. It, it's got just enough texture and it's got enough roughness in there that it uh, makes short work of your soaps. Man, I was up this morning reading, uh, drinking my coffee and, you know, scrolling around on the computer, looking at Facebook and whatnot, and, oh my God, the political, the political crap. I, I'm almost to the point that I'm going to turn that shit off. It's just, I'm sick of it. And people, you know, people get on there and spout their beliefs and, you know. Nobody gives a shit because you're not going to change anybody's mind on some social media thing. It's just, uh, and I'll tell you right now, uh, both sides suck. They don't give a shit about anything. Other, as soon as they get in office, all they care about is getting money so they can get reelected. That's all they care about. Our system is so screwed up and so broken that our founding fathers are rolling over in their graves at how... And idiotic we are. I'm sure they'd be impressed that the republics last this long. 
but they would be rolling their eyes and rolling over in their graves. And I'm telling you, it's both sides. It's not one side. It's not the, it's not the uh, liberal side, and it's not just the conservative side. They both suck. They are both so. They are not even close to what they used to be, just back 30 years ago or or 50 years ago when I was a kid. Parties weren't like this, and uh, people weren't like this. Hell, I never, you know, I didn't know what my neighbor's political views were, and now, God, you know everybody's political views. It's just so annoying. I can't stand it. But, okay, that's my rant. I'm done. But, yeah. My political view is be a good human. Be nice to your fellow man. That's what's important. Sorry for the salted language, kids. Don't, uh, don't follow my lead. Sometimes I get carried away, get a little fired up. What? Pretty nice. Well, I don't know what I was going to tell you guys. I ordered me a Chevette razor today. Is it shave at or shove at? Or shove it? Anyways, I ordered me a Parker SXF or SRX or whatever the heck it is. The chrome looking stainless steel one? That one. I forget the. Guess I haven't been bleeding enough in my videos, so that ought to. Cure that. Thought we'd give that a try. Never, never used one. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Bear with me, hang on. socially acceptable right there. I'm gonna throw a little cold water on my face. So you guys do that all the time. I'll try that. I haven't done that in a while. Oh yeah. That's really nice. Alright, I think uh no fuss, no muss. That was three days growth. Feather plowed through that like nothing, and it was pretty smooth too. And the water won't turn off. Uh, so let's go for a post shave. The rose petal fairs, which is darn near gone. Cucumber. Cucumber is waiting in the wings. Yeah, that was awesome. 
And I think for an aftershave, I haven't used it in a while. Looking over here at the at my menagerie of uh, splashes and whatnot. Let's go with my Stevens. Bay Rum. Um, I ordered one of theirs. Uh, also today I ordered one of these, but it's in their lilac set. It, all the reviews, everybody loved it. So uh, I thought, yeah, I'll try that. And then I ordered me an Osage Rub. So I uh, was watching my pal Stephen Davidson, and he was singing the praises of the Osage Rub. And uh, I thought, you know, I've never tried that, so I'm going to buy me an Osage Rub. Give that a shot. I like menthol, also. let's give this a shot. This is pretty light. It's not, not real spicy. It's pretty mellow stuff. Smells good, good fragrance. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the Parker Blade. 12 shades in the books. Um, she had a good run. Uh, on to something else, I guess. Uh, leave me a comment, say hi, tell me I suck. Just don't tell somebody else they suck, but you can tell me I suck. Uh, Apologize for the uh, mini meltdown on the politics. It just drives me bananas. Uh, I'll try not to do that anymore. Um, it just really got my goat this morning. Because it, it started so early again. Uh, anyways, guys, have a great weekend. Go do something fun. Go buy yourself that razor that you're looking at. Um, life is short. Have, a, have some fun. Uh, you know? We're only on this rock for a short while, so enjoy yourself and uh, find what uh, brings you joy in life. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys later, and I will see you down the proverbial trail.